As the Web3 space keeps on evolving, the interest in blockchain technology shows no signs of fading away, and it is expected that the total blockchain market value will hit $67 billion by 2026, and despite the ups and downs in the blockchain space, the value of this Web3 engine would keep increasing. As a result, many new, state-of-the-art platforms have been introduced recently, one of which is the Sway blockchain. But with so the Sway blockchain. Sway is a permissionless, proof-of-stake powered layer 1 blockchain that has been designed in an attempt to provide instant settlement and high throughput, as well as empower a multitude of next-gen, latency-sensitive decentralized applications. The Sway blockchain is the brainchild of Misson Labs, an R&D company founded by former senior executives at Meta's Novi Research and lead architects of the DM blockchain and Move programming language. According to Evan Cheng, co-founder and CEO at Misson. Current Web3 infrastructure is in the dial-up era. It's slow, expensive, capacity-constrained, insecure, and simply hard to build for. With Sway, we are endeavoring to build a blockchain that scales with demand and incentivizes growth, eliminating middlemen, and enabling users across applications to seamlessly integrate and interact with their favorite products. So, what is Sway's architecture? According to Sway's technical documentation, the blockchain consists of three main components. 1. Objects Sway possesses programmable objects built and managed by Move-enabled smart contracts, which are referred to as objects too. 2. Transactions Transactions describe any changes and updates made to the Sway ledger. 3. Validators The entire Sway network is handled by independent validators. Each of them runs its own instance of the Sway software on a separate machine. Another aspect worth highlighting is the Sway consensus engine, which comprises Narwhal and either Bullshark or Tusk. Narwhal is responsible for ensuring the availability of data submitted to consensus. While Bullshark or Tusk is used to agree on a specific ordering of this data. Another important component to point out on Sway is the Sway Explorer, a special tool for users and developers who are eager to start building on Sway. Now, what are the benefits of Sway blockchain? According to its developers, Sway comes with its own set of unique technical features, some of the most interesting of which are parallel transaction execution, a simplified developer experience, a unique approach to security, and enhanced UX for Web3 solutions. Now, Let's round up by looking into Sway token. The SUI token is the Sway blockchain's native asset. The token can be staked to take part in the proof-of-stake consensus, can be used to pay gas fees when carrying out transactions and other operations, while it also gives its holder a right to participate in on-chain voting. While the total supply of the token is scrapped at 10 billion, there is still so much unknown about this project. One of the catchy information about this project is the set of people working on the project, which comprises the formal Meta DM team from Facebook, although, we cannot take that at face value until we have seen major progress on this project, however, looking at the guys at the end of this project, this might be something to look out for. Guys, this is not financial advice, but for educational purpose only. Is the Harmony blockchain. Harmony is an effective proof-of-stake blockchain founded in 2018 by Stephen Say with a mainnet launch in 2019. Like most post-Ethereum networks, it claims to solve the blockchain trilemma of decentralization, scalability, and security. Harmony's answer to the problem is sharding and its effective proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Another key Harmony platform feature is its cross-chain finance model. The popularity of cross-chain and multi-chain capabilities has increased dramatically today, and Harmony caters to this as well. The blockchain offers bridging services between BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other networks. Harmony's main vision for scaling Web3 relies on zero-knowledge proofs and decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs. So, how does sharding and Harmony work? One of Harmony's keys to providing security, scalability, and decentralization is sharding. The Harmony Sharding splits the network into four sections that work in parallel. Users can choose the shard they want, which distributes the network's workload. Validation, transactions, 
block creation, and staking are all done separately on each shard. Harmony currently has a limit of 250 validator slots per shard known as BLS keys. If needed, the number of shards and validators can increase to meet network demand in the future. Shard 0 is the beacon chain and acts as an information relay between shards 1, 2, and 3. No matter the shard used, transaction times will be roughly 2 seconds. Now, let's look into how effective proof-of-stake work. Effective proof-of-stake is similar to the standard proof-of-stake validator and delegator model. Validators stake Harmony's native token to run a node and possibly process transactions through an election process. Delegators stake their one behind a validator in return for a percentage of future block rewards and transaction fees. Once elected and assigned a shard, the validator creates blocks and shares its rewards with delegators. Effective proof-of-stake's reward distribution is what makes it different. Most proof-of-stake systems consolidates rewards and power behind a small number of validators. The more you stake, the more you earn and validate. In contrast, effective proof-of-stake reduces rewards and penalizes validators who stake too much in a single node. Nodes with smaller stakes actually receive more favorable rewards in relation to their size, encouraging large validators to decentralize. This system also helps avoid single points of failure. Besides offering a secure method for validating transactions, effective proof-of-stake provides low gas fees. This makes it an attractive alternative to Ethereum's high gas fees or Bitcoin scalability issues with proof-of-work. Although we are yet to see how the new Ethereum 2.0 handles fees. Let's round looking up. into Harmony native token, called 1. The Harmony protocol's native token, 1, is used for paying network transaction fees, staking as a delegator or validator in return for block rewards and taking part in Harmony's open governance mechanism. Harmony provides a constant reward to validators of 441 million won annually. Transaction fees are burned with an end goal of creating a net zero state, offsetting the one provided for block rewards. One has a total supply of about 13.1 billion, with a current circulating supply of about 12.3 billion, a market cap of about $248 million. Whether you're an investor, DeFi DAP user, or staker, Harmony has a solid ecosystem to explore and get involved with. Even at its current roadmap stage, there's a lot to use and discover. With more cross-shard capabilities coming in the future. The fact is that there are other competing blockchains with the same project, although many of them are using a different protocol. You can go through our video to see some of these projects, therefore, Harmony would need to do even more to become more dominant among its competitors. Let us know what you think about Harmony on the comments section. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post a video. Thank you for watching, see you next time.